is Blake Hawksworth with Recruitment Hockey coming at you with another video. Today we are going to go over an exercise that I like to teach to some of my younger athletes and it's a good drill for just about anybody to use. So it's a take on, on skater on skater jump. So a typical skater jump just demonstrating hit here right here is what this is. So we get here or across or across, right? Obviously I'm not challenging myself there. If it was a real skater's jump, I'd be jumping for length and distance. All right. But the way we're going to kind of morph this into something that I deem is more, even more useful, and I love skater squats, don't get me wrong, but to create more power and explosion, we're going to go over how to do that. So to create more power and explosion, I do this drill kind of on the ice. I put the blue, I have a little bumper, blue bumper, if you've seen some of my other videos, and I get athletes to go here jump over the bumper and then catch on their skates. Again, jump here, over the bumper, catch on their skates and then they continue on with the drill. If you want to see that video, it's in my it's in the it's in the description. Go ahead and check that out. It's a part of the other um, um, playlist that I have. All right. We're not going to be doing quite that, but it's a similar using the similar muscles, activating the similar muscles in order to create power, get low and jump up. So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to start here and I'm going to pop up onto this box. All right, I'm going to land onto this box. Obviously after I jump, I get up here, I catch, and then it's back down. All right, so what it will look like, again, I want to make sure I'm getting low, I explode up, and we're, what we're kind of mimicking is that when we stop and start, say I just came in here and I stopped on this, this is whatever, on the ice. All right, I stop, I get low, and I explode out. Obviously, in this case, we're exploding up, and that just helps generate more strength. On the actual ice rink, obviously, we don't want to hop straight up. We want to get out and more lateral. All right, but for demonstration's sake, drill's sake, and building muscle strength, this is how we're going to do it. All right, to demonstrate the drill, I'm going to start with my outside leg. In this case, it's my right leg. My right leg's going to go up. I'm going to catch myself up here with my right leg. So oftentimes with a simple skater jump, right? We get here and we just land on the other leg. We don't come out and then land here. All right, what we're doing is getting up and we're also gonna have, it's gonna add a, bal a balance element to it. It's a lot easier to go like this and not as tough than to get up, catch, and land on that inside foot as well. All right, once I land, I'm gonna get here, I'll pop up just to finish out the rep and get that little extra strength in my leg to really stand up out of that squat. So here's what it's gonna look like. Here's what it does look like. I'm low, I'm here, I'm gonna get down, I'm gonna explode up. So what we're really focusing on, again, good stance to keep my eyes up, chest up, so when I land, I can maintain my balance. I don't want to get up here and be like this and stumbling around, and now it's not easy either. All right, I get that. You would even see me sometimes trying to hold myself right there. But when I get low, I'm here, eyes up, chest up, good hockey stance, and I get up, I catch, I'm still in this good hockey stance, and I finish up right. All right, so I'm on my, the balls of my feet, I get low and I explode up. I use my arms to really drive myself up. Another thing when we do this, we want to keep our feet as quiet as possible. So when I land, I don't want to land and have, and have hard feet, right? I don't want to get up here and be slamming my foot down. I want to, what I always say, your knees are the shock absorber for the body. So if you don't know what a shock absorber is, it's like when you're driving a car and you go over a bump, the shocks go down or go whichever way they go. I, I don't know, I just know that they do something, right? So that the tire doesn't smack the bottom of your car, right? So that's what pushes down and keeps you up, all right? When we go down and we slam our knees down, it's like slamming the shock absorbers down. It's not good for your body, and in the long run, you might feel it a little bit more, all right? Not only that, it helps teach you having delicate feet, right? On the ice, we don't want to be skating around slamming our feet into the ice, all right? So again, we get low, we get up, 
And we don't want to have hard feet. We want to land as soft as we can. Obviously, it's not going to be silent, but keeping it as quiet as we can. All right, and then when we land, we use our shock absorbers, then I get down, and I'm right back up. Last thing, build yourself up into this drill. All right, this is probably maybe a foot and a half, maybe 18, in, between 12 and 18 inches um, is what it looks like in person. All right, so it doesn't look like much, but it's still, keep it challenging, all right? Keep it challenging, but don't go so high where you're doing it improperly. Ease your way into it. Maybe if I can do this with ease, then I can move up, all right? But at this time, I, you know, if you're not doing it with ease, don't try to skip steps. Do it right, build your way up, and that's gonna help make you more successful. I would say quality over quantity. I'd rather see you do a million, or I'd rather see you do three really good ones at this level than 50 really bad ones at a higher level, all right? You get, you get more from doing it right than doing it improperly, but looking cool while you do it, all right? With that being said, this has been another video from Recruitment Hockey. My name is Blake Hackworth. We actually did reach 60 subscribers. Could not believe it. I looked at it last night at like 12 a.m. Uh, so thank you very much if you subscribe. Um, please continue to share my videos, like, comment, share, and subscribe. It really does mean a lot. We didn't reach the, the two goal mark that I wanted, but um, maybe we'll reach that this time. So let's set the goal for two. The more likes we get, the more of my videos pop up in the YouTube algorithm and the more coaches and players and parents that we can help um, help uh, strive for the next level. So I appreciate everybody that does tune in. Again, my name is Blake Hackworth. Thank you.